just a little bit after 10 o'clock this morning. Everybody's already had breakfast earlier. We just had to find what you want for breakfast morning. But right now, the kids have all started the schoolwork. Manly went back to sleep. He woke up earlier this morning, and I thought he was up and ready for the day, but then he went back to sleep, so he's sleeping. Before the kids started with their schoolwork, they asked for more pumpkin muffins. I'm telling y'all, they have fallen in love with pumpkin muffins, but we're gonna do something different today. I'm gonna make the recipe that they love, but I always have some of the batter left over, and I usually make like four to six regular sized muffins, or y'all know I've made those pumpkin shaped muffins before. This time with the leftover batter, after we fill the mini muffin tin, we're gonna make some copycat Starbucks pumpkin muffins that have the cream cheese inside the stuffed pumpkin muffins. Now on the top of theirs, they also put pumpkin seeds. Um, I did, you know, just roast some pumpkin seeds. I wish I had thought about this and roasted some just plain because that would be really good on here. Since I don't have any more to roast at this moment, I'm just going to put some pecans on top. I thought about putting some oats on top because that would look really close to the pumpkin seeds on there. But I think even the kids will like to try these with pecans on them. So we've got our cup and a half of flour in there. We're going to put a teaspoon of baking powder. teaspoon of baking soda. I forgot to get out the salt. I was getting all my ingredients ready. I forgot the salt. Half a teaspoon. One teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. I'm about to have to make some more here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and let this be stirring together. can of pumpkin puree and a third of a cup of vegetable oil, two eggs, and one and one-fourths of a cup of sugar. And that's it for the pumpkin mix. I'm going to go ahead and mix this together and get my muffin tins ready. So I have the mini muffins in the oven. I completely, again, forgot to put the cinnamon sugar on top, y'all. I forget it every time. I took them out real quick and added it, but I think it was a little too late. Anyway, so I got four regular sized muffins out of the rest of the batter. Now we're gonna make the cream cheese filling for them. I only need enough of the filling for four muffins, but I'll put the original recipe down below for y'all. All right, so I'm only using two ounces of cream cheese, so just about a fourth of this block. And it's not quite as soft as I need it to be, so I'm just gonna put it in the microwave on the defrost setting for just a few seconds to soften it up a little more. I'm gonna go ahead and drop that in the mixer. Okay, I put in about half a teaspoon of milk. Now we're gonna put in one tablespoon of sugar and half a teaspoon of all-purpose flour and a fourth of a teaspoon of vanilla. And that's it. Now we just mix this all together. Now I'm just putting this bag inside this cup. I don't have any smaller uh, sandwich bags or I would use that. Or you can also use, you know, a pastry bag, piping bag or whatever. We're going to pour it into the bag. So if you have the pastry bags with the little metal piece, you know, you can put on there, then you can just, you know, stick it down in here and squeeze some of your cream cheese in there. If you don't have that, you could also use a funnel, which I've done before. I've stuck like a bag, not with these muffins, but with a different thing. 
I stuck my bag down in the funnel and cut a little hole and then you can just use the funnel to stick down in the muffin and squeeze. I think the boys used my funnel for something the other day because I cannot find it. So we're just gonna have to do this like this. I'll show you another way to do it. You take your tongs, we're gonna squeeze the tongs together and just open up the muffin and squeeze in some of the cream cheese. There we go. This one had some issues, but these three should turn out good. All right, they're gonna go in the oven now and I'm gonna set a 10 minute timer and start checking them at 10 minutes. They should take around probably 15 to 18 minutes at 350. Set my timer. I didn't put the pecans on yet because they'll get too brown on top. Whenever I check them at 10 minutes, I may go ahead and sprinkle some on then. I'll see how they're looking. If the pecans will stick to them still. If not, we'll just sprinkle some of those on at the end. I did just, somebody snuck one while I was going to get you. Who did that? Mama did. Mama did. He said he could smell these pumpkin muffins. You want this one? Okay, I'll get it for you. Mmm. Pumpkin muffins. <laughs> I was thinking too, you could also use a squeeze bottle to squirt in that cream cheese filling. If you had a squeeze bottle, just stick you know the little end down in there and squeeze it in. You can do that too. I actually have a squeeze bottle. I wish I would have thought of that before I did the tongs thing, but I think it's gonna work fine. <laughs> I'm just gonna put these little muffins in here. They probably will not last through this day. Okay, we're at the halfway point with these now. I'm just gonna take a few pecan pieces and see if I can place them on here. There we go, now they're going back in the oven for about 10, at least 10 more minutes and we'll see if they're done yet. How's it going, Georgette? I saw the rocking chair moving from the window and I was like, is the wind blowing it that hard? But no, it was just Georgette. Don't mind me, you just continue. Relax, just relax. <laughs> These are finally cooled down enough to try. I'm gonna tell y'all if they taste like Starbucks or not. Let's just see if we can open it up and see how it looks in the middle. There we go. They're not as big as Starbucks muffins. Y'all know those are pretty huge. I turned it on broil to try to brown the cream cheese on top, but I didn't want it to all turn brown. I just wanted to get a few little, you know, brown spots. And it has a few, but I didn't wanna mess it up, so I turned it off pretty quick. Okay, let's see how it is. That is very close to the Starbucks pumpkin muffins. This is a moister muffin than the ones at Starbucks, so I would definitely be able to tell the difference because these muffins are really moist, which theirs are too, but you know, the texture is a little different. The cream cheese filling though tastes identical to it. They're really good. They're definitely right up there with Starbucks, just you know, the muffin's a little bit different. Ready? Yeah, go. Yeah, it's blue. Yeah, yeah, it's my favorite color. He's blue yeah. like your favorite color. Yeah. yeah. He's blue. All right, y'all. It is several hours later now. We're about to go eat supper. There they are. He's looking for the chickens. We were going to grill out tonight, but Jacob and Tyler asked if they could go eat with one of their friends. So we decided that we'll just go eat somewhere too instead of cooking a whole bunch of food if the you know, big boys aren't gonna be here. I think we're gonna go to a pizza place that we've never been to before. I'm not even quite sure how long it's been there. I just noticed it about a month ago, but it's probably been there for years. So I think that's where we're gonna go eat. And the kids wanna get some ice cream from the ice cream parlor. It's at the place where we play mini golf, but I don't think we're gonna be playing mini golf because it's supposed to get cooler and windier this evening. But we'll still go there for the ice cream. Did the chickens go hide from you? Yeah. They saw him coming and they went into the woods. What is the deal with this pumpkin? Every day I have to put it back where it goes.
never been here cheese before. Fries, pizza, pizza, cheese, and salad. And salad. Sa sa looking really messy now but he gets the super cow and this is the only place I've ever seen that flavor of ice cream it's really good it's mostly just like a colorful vanilla ice cream I think Jonah's doing good on his 